As Russian troops rain down terror over Ukraine, this unassuming Italian hotel is the latest front in the fight over the nation's fate. On Monday, U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan met in Rome for seven hours with Yang Zhexie, Chinese director of the Office of the Foreign Affairs Commission. Administration officials described it as an intense meeting in which Washington reminded Beijing, privately, of the consequences of China violating sanctions to fund Russia's war effort. I think what we have conveyed and what was conveyed by our national security advisor in this meeting is that should they provide military or other assistance uh, that of course violates sanctions or, uh, or supports the war effort, uh, that there will be uh, significant consequences. But in terms of what those specifics look like, we would coordinate with our partners and allies to make that determination. In just under three weeks of fighting, the nation has hemorrhaged more than 2.8 million refugees. Most are women and children as able-bodied Ukrainian men are forbidden from leaving. Civilian volunteers under the command of President Volodymyr Zelensky now form the bulk of the resistance against the professional Russian army. Washington says it will not send American troops to Ukraine, has dismissed Zelensky's appeals for a no-fly zone, and rejected a Polish proposal to send their Russian-made jets to a U.S. airbase in Germany to be sent to Ukraine. On Saturday, President Joe Biden authorized up to $200 million worth of American assistance in the form of military education and training for the Ukrainian army. Over the weekend, four U.S. senators visited Poland, a top refugee destination. What I saw at the border was the need for the United States to act immediately. Not tomorrow, not next year, now. There is an urgency to this moment that demands the world's attention as well as the American people's. Senator Amy Klobuchar told VOA that the U.S. still has options to aid Ukraine. We're not going to give Vladimir Putin a um, roadmap of how that can be done. There are many ways, whether it is more drones, whether it is um, other, other weapons uh, that can help. Uh, clearly, we are all committed to doing that. They, we, we must do more. Senator Rob Portman said China also has a role to play. China needs to be careful here because the United States of America has the ability through our market to make uh, the Chinese economy falter as well in significant ways. They depend on us, and you know, we are interdependent in a sense, too. A Chinese foreign ministry spokesman told journalists Monday that China has been playing a constructive part in promoting peace talks in Ukraine and charged the U.S. with making false accusations. He did not confirm or deny a direct question asking if China planned to support Russia in the future. Also on Monday, Russian and Ukrainian delegations held a fourth round of peace talks virtually. Zelensky says he is aiming for a face-to-face -face meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Even far-flung nations are getting involved. BOA asked Saki if the White House was considering South African President Cyril Ramaphosa's offer to mediate between the two parties. There have been a half a dozen global leaders who have been meeting with both the Russians and the Ukrainians and engaging, of course, directly uh, through diplomatic channels and trying to uh, come to a, uh, a diplomatic conclusion here. We have been engaged directly with them on the front end and back end of those conversations and encourage them to also make sure they are uh, engaging with the Ukrainians and not just the Russians. And Zelensky, who's refused to leave his country but has issued a stream of videos to both civilians and lawmakers around the world, is himself opening a new virtual front. On Wednesday, he will speak before a closed joint session of the U.S. Congress. Anita Powell, VOA News, the White House.